welcome back to my very own reading corner so guys today i'm reading a book to you called are you ready for spring so let's head on sights and sounds of spring sploosh sploosh do you hear that it is the sound of rubber boots splashing in deep muddy puddles it is spring the snow has melted leaving splooshy squishy mud in its place and that is true because near my house a lot of the snow melted and there's a lot of wet grass and dirt and so it turned into mud and you guys can see the two boys play in mud puddles listen you can hear birds wings flapping as they fly to and fro they work in pairs to build their nests so you can see a bird lines its nest with soft fluff spring weather heavy gray clouds move in it looks as if it might rain don't forget to bring your umbrella raindrops the size of pennies begin to fall plop 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 rain taps against the window in a springtime shower rain makes a patter 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 sound on rooftops sidewalks and umbrellas thunder rumbles in the distance Lightning flashes in bright zigzags across the sky. Springing to life. Flowers and trees need spring rains to grow. Tiny shoots emerge from the dark, moist earth. Now leaves poke out of melting snowbank. So you can see like um snow might cover up some leaves and like like other plants that are small and so um they can start poking out once the snow is done melting. Naughty buds form on trees. They will become delicate, bright green leaves. You can see that that um line rhymed. Spring brings lots of activity. Birds lay eggs. Soon we will hear the peep 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 of newly hatched chicks. Hungry baby birds call out to their parents. Adult birds hunt worms to feed their hungry fuzzy babies. In springtime, mother deer give birth to fawns. These babies' coats are sprinkled with white dots. Bears begin to emerge from their cozy winter dens. They are hungry after long months of hibernating. Everyone feels energized by the change in the weather. The spring world As the weather gets warmer, families play together outdoors. That is true because I started playing outdoors because it got um warmer outside. Colorful kites whoosh through the sky, whisked along on brisk breeze. People dig in the earth to plant seeds in flower beds and gardens. Soon, plants will grow from the seeds. Flowers begin to bloom. coloring the world with bright pink, yellows and reds. Insects flit here and there. Bees buzz from flower to flower. Animals begin to shed their winter coats. So you guys can see this um bison is shedding its heavy winter coat because during the winter it needed that coat so um, it can stay warm. So now it doesn't because it's it's already warm outside. Summer is coming. The temperature gets warmer and warmer. It is time to pack away our bulky winter clothes. I am so happy I don't have to wear my winter clothes anymore. Days get longer and longer. Long days mean more time to play outside. Puddles and mud begin to dry up. Days are bright and warm. Summer is on its way. What will you do in summer, guys? So that is one of the questions that I'm asking you. So what are you guys going to um think of doing in the spring and summer? How do chickens hatch? Many baby animals are born in the spring. One of them is the baby chicken or chick. Mother chickens lay eggs when they are ready to have chicks. One tiny chick is inside each egg. The mother chicken sits on the eggs after she lays them. Soon the chicks are ready to hatch. A chick picks at its eggshell when it's ready to hatch. This is called piping. A chick has a tiny horn on the top of its beak. 
The horn is called an egg tooth. The chick uses its egg tooth to break out of its egg. It's a lot of work for a chicken to break out of its egg. A chicken is wet and tired when it first breaks free. It may lay still and rest for a few hours. Soon its downy feathers have dried. The chick is ready to explore its surroundings. A chick's egg tooth falls off within a day after the chick hatches. The chick starts growing feathers just a few weeks later. She'll look more like a chicken than a chick in no time. So you guys can see a chick watches another chick hatch. You guys can see like a um, chick that already hatched watches another one. So guys, here's the glossary. So if there were some of the things you guys didn't understand, or like some of the words, you guys can pause the video and um, like understand the meaning of some words. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so guys, I had two questions for you guys. And so I already gave you guys one of the questions, which was um, what are you guys planning to do in the spring and summer? And so guys, my second question is, what do you guys think hibernating means? And so if you guys don't know what hibernating means, that is fine. And so you guys can try finding out um, with the help of a parent or try searching it up. So guys, okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more of these videos, don't forget to smash the like button. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.